Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you step by step how to set up and by the end of the video, how to deploy the new Bitscap Binance Futures Trading Grid Bot. Bitscap just made this bot available to the general public today. I've had access to it for probably about the past month or so. And actually this weekend when Bitcoin dumped from above 60,000 down to around 50,000, I actually took advantage of the bounce in the market to deploy four grid bots on Bitscap using the Binance Futures Exchange. And I was able to lock in some pretty decent profits. Uh, Matic USDT, I was able to capture 20% profit in 13 hours. OGN, I was able to capture 25% profit in 12 hours, almost 13 hours. Doge, I actually went short on. The other two I was long. Doge, I shorted. It actually was one of the coins that did not dump when Bitcoin dumped. So I chose to short that coin. And I was able to capture almost 24% profit in just about eight hours. And then VET USDT, I went long on and captured 40% profit in just about seven hours. Now, with that all being said, don't be fooled by just the high rewards that I was able to capture. You need to understand that trading futures involves a high level of risk. So if your grid bots not deployed in futures, but on the standard spot exchanges are not profitable, you should really wait until you can make those profitable before you jump into futures trading. There's a high level of risk. And the reality is most people end up getting killed when they step into the futures arena. Now, with that all being said, before we get into the weeds of configuring and deploying the bot, if you're not familiar with Bitscap, they are an all-in-one trading platform that you basically connect your exchange to the platform via API keys. And therefore, you never actually send any money to Bitscap. Your money stays on your exchange and it is as secure as it can be when being held on an exchange. And I utilize Bitscap for their trading terminal that allows me to do live day trading. And another feature that might come in handy before you start deploying live future Grid bots, you might start out deploying those bots in their demo mode. But today, I will be deploying my bot to live fire. Now, if you're wondering what type of investment is required to get started, you can actually start for free. They offer a 14-day free trial. I will leave a link down in the description below. If you use my link, you'll actually get a 14-day free trial of the Pro Plan. That's the plan I actually use. But with that being said, after that 14-day free trial, you could actually start with their basic plan for $19 a month, and that would allow you to deploy two active trading bots, and that's either Spot or the Futures or any mix of you could have one spot and one futures grid bot deployed at the same time now if you want to deploy more bots than two you could step up to the advanced plan and that would allow you to deploy five active trading bots i typically have somewhere between five to 15 active trading bots deployed at any given time and again you can deploy any mixture of spot or futures bots they just count as one of your bots that are deployed now that's enough jaw jacking let's get to configuring the actual bot and get it deployed now if you're new to the platform you will need to connect your binance api keys to the platform and you can do that through the tab that says my exchanges and add new exchange and from here you would need to select binance and in this case i don't actually have binance available because i already have it connected but once you select the correct exchange you would paste in your api key and your secret key so you would need to go over to your exchange in this case binance and go to api management and then from your api management dashboard you could simply name your API key, click on create. And after doing your Google authentication process, you will have a new API key, which you would copy and paste where it says API key. And then you would jump back and do the same thing for the secret key, click connect. And then you should see both Binance and your Binance futures accounts connected and make sure it does say connected in these green letters. And if you haven't already, you would need to deposit USDT in your Binance Futures account. Now, once you have the Binance account connected via those API keys, now you can jump back over to the bots tab. And the strategy for the futures exchange is combo bot. And then obviously the exchange, you need to select your Binance Futures exchange. 
Next, you need to select what pair you want to trade. And you can basically select from all the pairs available on the futures platform. In this case, I will be trading OGN USDT. Now I need to select whether I want to go long or short. And in this case, I'm going to go long as I expect the price of OGN to continue to go up. Now, if I thought OGN's price was going to retreat back down to say the $1.20 range, I could go short, but I'm bullish on OGN, so I will be going long on OGN. Now I need to determine my initial margin. And if you're not familiar with the term initial margin, it is the initial amount invested in order to open the position and they will be at risk of liquidation if the price moves against you. So my initial margin, I'm going to actually use the slider bar. And right now, Bitscap only allows you to use 20% of your current balance. So I'm going to max that out at 20% and that would result in 117 USDT for my initial margin. Now I need to determine my leverage and I can adjust my leverage between 1x to 10x. And if you're not familiar with the term leverage, basically leverage is a loan. It allows traders to open positions with borrowed funds provided by the third party. And in this case, it will be the exchange Binance. I typically choose somewhere between 4x to 9x as I try to manage my risk and avoid getting liquidated. In this case, I'm going with 4x. I click confirm and now you can see I have 4x selected as my leverage. Now I need to determine my margin mode, whether it be cross or isolated. And if I select cross margin, then my assets share the same cross margin balance which would put my full margin balance along with any open positions under the same asset at risk of being liquidated. Now for my risk management purposes, I prefer isolated margin. This limits the risk to the individual position itself. And with that being said, if the margin ratio for this position reaches 100%, then my position would be liquidated, but not all of my positions using the same asset, just this one position. So with that being said, I select isolated probably 99% of the time when I'm trading with margin. So I'll click confirm. And so I have 4X leverage, isolated margin. Now I need to determine my lower and my upper price. Now I typically shoot for previous support and previous resistance for my lower and upper price range. And you can see their support around the 149 range and there was resistance up around the 207 range. Now a feature that Bitscap offers with this particular grid bot is their built in trailing feature. And what that basically means, if the price continues to move up, the grid will trail that price up or something kind of new. If the price is to go down, the grid will trail that price down. It trails the price action in either direction. So that's kind of new to Bitscap bots. And with that being said, Binance has their own futures grid bot and it doesn't have that feature at all. Granted, they offer that bot for free, but it doesn't have the built-in trailing feature that the Bitscap bot has. So that would be one difference between the two bots. So with that built-in trailing feature, I don't need a very big grid as the grid will follow the price action either up or down and just rebuild based on the price action. So I'll set my lower price at 149.9 and my upper price at 199 for the moment. Now I need to set my grid spacing or as they call it their grid step. And that would be the percentage in between each grid level. Now the grid levels are actually limit orders. The green lines you see on the screen represent limit buy orders. The red lines of the grid represent limit sell orders. So the idea behind a grid bot is it will buy the dip and sell the rip up for profit. Now this particular bot for Bitscap actually uses DCA or dollar cost averaging when the price goes down if you're long or if you're going short if the price goes up. It will dollar cost average each time it hits one of these grids. And so if the price drops, since I'm going long, I'm looking for it to go up. If the price drops, the bot will average into the position based on my DCA and grid step percentage and also the number of grids. Now, in this case, I'm going to put in the maximum 40 grids 
and therefore that makes my grid spacing 0.73 percent. However, in doing so, the initial margin is now outlined in a red box telling me I don't have enough ammo to deploy this bot. So I will have to adjust the number of grids. So we'll go for 35. That got me close. Let's go for 34. Okay, so now with 34 grids, I have a grid spacing of 0.84%. And now I can actually give that a back test, which again is a feature that the Binance grid bot does not offer, but Bitscap does. Which in reality, back test results do not guarantee future results. And the fact that we've had a recent sell off, the probability of a recovery, these numbers have the potential of actually being greater and that is why I'm choosing this particular bot to deploy. Now another feature available is the take profit target and rather than being a percentage this particular take profit target is based on once a price is reached the bot will close all open orders and close your current open position. So in this case again I'm going to look for prior resistance since I'm going long I'm looking for the price to go up. And I'm going to bring my take profit into the 209 range, as that is where we see prior resistance. And so, of course, I will enable the stop loss. And if you don't know my theory on a stop loss, basically not using a stop loss is like going into battle without armor. Eventually, you will get killed. And so my stop loss, I'll set at 144 which does give the price action plenty of room to maneuver if it was to retreat back down towards the previous support level. And that's pretty much all the settings. So we'll just recap real quick. The strategy is the combo bot, which is the strategy dedicated to the Binance Futures Exchange. The pair I'll be trading is OGN USDT. And this bot will be a long only bot. The initial margin is 117 USDT. My leverage is 4X. My margin is isolated. The lower price on this bot is set at 1.499. The upper price is set at 199. The grid spacing is 0.84%. There's 34 grids total. And Bitscap actually provides you some information based on your settings. And the first one is maximum position value. And that is approximate value of the maximum possible position of your bot, including the first order and all DCA orders. And that is based on my leverage, my initial margin, and the initial order. And the maximum margin is actually the maximum possible margin, which may be required for open positions of your bot in the course of trading. And so my first order is the approximate value of the first position that will be opened by the market order using 50% of my initial investment. And then the total DCA orders is the approximate value of each averaging order that will be placed when step distance from each other is in the negative price direction. So since I'm going long, if the price goes down, I will have basically 18 DCA orders that are approximately 136 OGN. And then grid orders, I'll have 16, which is the opposite. If the price goes up, those are the sell limit orders for profit. And those will be at around 104 OGN. My take profit level was above the grid at around 209. And my stop loss, which is a trailing stop loss, is at 1.44. And so now this bot is ready for some live fire action. So we give start a click. And it's deploying the bot. It did its market order. So now I have some OGN if the price starts to move up. And so the grid is filled in. My take profit, my stop loss, and actually the liquidation price has been filled in. That's this yellow line. And the liquidation price is below my stop loss as I don't actually want to get liquidated. And that pretty much wraps it up. The bot is deployed and ready for live fire action. Now I will be doing an update video in the near future on how this bot is performing. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. Or if you have any questions or comments, drop those in the comments section down below. I will drop a link to Bitscap in the description down below. And in closing, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.